Hello everyone, I'm Corbin Wright and today we are going to do a little um, slipper orchid rescue video. This is Pathiopedilum in insignii and it is absolutely infested with mealybugs. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to take care of the mealybugs and then we're also going to do a repotting of this plant and put it into fresh new growing media. And I feel rather guilty because this plant was a gift from a friend's grandmother and she grew um, pathiopedilums and sympidiums in her back garden. And she gave me this probably, I think, in 2014. And lately I have kind of neglected it a bit. And the other day when I saw this plant, I saw it was absolutely infested with mealybugs. So I immediately like decided that we are going to have to do a little bit of a rescue on this plant. So to clean off the mealybugs, I'm going to use bleach. So I saw this um, tip on another orchid channel where they completely submerged the plant in a solution of bleach and water. Um, and then afterwards, after about 10 minutes, we rinsed off the plant with um, clean water. And then we're going to do a repotting. And I'm going to put this into a new pot, into new media, and then hopefully the plant will survive. Um, and I actually feel so sad because it is actually producing a little flower. Uh, but it's absolutely infested with mealybugs. So I'm going to have to cut off that flower as well. So to start with, I'm going to take off all the dead foliage and the flower and take the plant out of the media and submerge it into a bleach solution. So let's get started with removing the old brown leaves. So I'm going to remove some of these dead foliage and also the flower. Because you really want the plant to regain its strength and being flower is really not going to help it right now. But you can see here like how it's infested with mealybugs. And even inside of the flower. This plant looked amazing at one stage and it's flowered for me every year. I grow it outside on my patio, but I don't know how I just almost you know, managed to lose um, track of it. And when I saw it, I was absolutely devastated but all the mealybugs but hopefully i think that the plant will survive because i think i did like catch it in time and that this is um, quite a hardy um, pathopedilum um, pathopedilum insignia is from india where it like grows in the southern parts of india and it grows on kind of cl like cliff faces so almost like a lithophyte which is like an epiphyte, but an epiphyte like grows on trees, whereas a lithophyte grows on um, rocks and stone. So I'm actually going to remove some of these longer leaves as well, because they're like browning at the edges and there's no really point in keeping them. Um, but I've seen beautiful specimens of this plant, um, and I really want my plant to grow into a nice specimen plant. There we go, so I'm thinking I've cut off enough. Now we have to see what's happening inside the pot. So I'm going to pull this plant out of the pot. I did give it a drink of water before I started filming. Oh, and it doesn't have much of a root system left from the look of it. Let's see what's happening. Oh, these roots are not in a good health. Let's shake off some of the older media. Because this is planted in kind of a mold bark mixture, which I'm thinking might have kept the plant too a bit. Because um, it does compact over time. And I don't think I've repotted this plant for about three years. But I do think that this plant is still savable. Um, there is some new growth like coming out, new f like fans emerging. So 
this is now what we have. That's a bit of a root system, but I'm not seeing any new like growth tips. Now I saw this YouTube video um, on a channel called Ed's Orchids, where he uses a water and bleach solution to clean off like pests from his orchids. It is quite an old school uh, method to deal with um, pests on your orchids. So I'm just gonna add in a bit to this. Be fine and just mix it a bit and now I'm gonna just have merged my plant with the foliage like first because that's where the mealybug is into the water and I basically this needs to stay like this for about 10 minutes I'm going to move my plant over to the sink and rinse off like the bleach um, solution and then bring it back and we're going to repot my plant into fresh media. I'll just throw my plant in this one and throw this out. Now I'm just gonna hold my plant under the tap and rinse it off. And this also helps to get rid of any mealybugs that might still be on the leaves or on the undersides of the leaves. So my plant looks nice and clean, it also looks, like, smells clean. <laughs> um, so I'm going to repot this into a plastic pot. I mentioned to you guys in, in, a, in a previous video that I'm phasing out using clay pots for my orchids. I'm now going to start using like, plastic pots and, and maybe like, putting in the plastic pot into a clay pot as kind of a cover pot but I'm not going to pot them into clay pots again only because a plastic seems a lot easier to manage uh, than using clay pots and the plastic pots also doesn't absorb any of the minerals or the fertilizers like the clay pots do and that can like cause your plants roots to burn in future. I'm using a mix of orchid bark with some sp like sphagnum moss mixed in and also with a little bit of coca coya because pathopedlums do like to be a bit more um, in a more moisture retentive um, mixture than other orchids um, because they do like grow in areas where the roots should be more moist than for instance a cattleya or a Thalinopsis orchid. So I start off by just putting in of the mix at the bottom. Um, and then I'm gonna position my plant into it and be sure not to plant it too deep and like bury the fans because it could lead to like your plant um, starting to decay. And I just gently fill in media around the roots. I'm just tapping it down this is how the media goes in between like, the root ball um, I'm checking all the time where my plant is in relation to the media so I just to make sure not to bury any of the fans 
and and that seems to be done. Now I'm going to move this plant over to the sink again to like give it a nice drink and to let the media you know settle around the roots um, and to help my plant to get over the shock of being like transplanted and having to be dunked into bleach and everything. So I'm just going to open up the tap. Um, I'm using a lukewarm um, se setting on the tap and not ice cold water. So that seems to be fine. And generally with orchids, you always want to use more of like a room temperature water and not um, ice cold water coming out of the tap. And so I'm just letting the water go through. And there we go. And now we're going to set this here on the sink so it can um, dry off a bit naturally. So I hope that this plant survives and like grows into a beautiful like a specimen and that every time that it flowers I'll be able to remember my friend's grandmother. So I hope you enjoyed this um, slipper orchid rescue video. Um, if you did, please remember to give this video a thumbs up and also please remember to subscribe and hit the notification button to see more videos like these.